Hi, weather right now. Back when I was a kid, I'd sit on the front porch of my old relatives there in Deep East Texas, and they would say, "Is it hot, Wesley?" Huh? And I used to wonder who Wesley was. Yes, and, to the, and to this day, when I hear Wesley, I, I get hot. Well, you know, I'm sure Wesley would agree it is hot outside. <laughs> is it hot, Marcus? <laughs> yes, that, that there is go. right. There we go. Southwesterly winds are helpful <laughs> for go. that, there for is. sure. How about a northeasterly wind? I'll take that. Tomorrow? Yes, amen yes. and hallelujah. Yes, we'll get Pass some plate. slightly drier air to plate. move in. Yeah, okay. Put something in there. It's empty. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop the clicker. Oh, oh, thank you very much. I'll take that to the pond shop. Uh, today it was another hot one though, and tomorrow still looks to be humid. And it is something really important to make sure that we're noting that it will still be a very muggy day tomorrow, even though we do have some rain chances on tap. 101 this afternoon in Tyler and Longview, second consecutive day that we've had temperatures there, but that will stop very quickly into tomorrow. 100 today in Nacogdoches, 99 from the Wood County Airport, the Upshur County Airport at 100, Athens 99 this afternoon, and Marshall at a high today of 98. Look at where we're at right now. 86 in Longview, 83 Nacogdoches, Hemphill at 82, Henderson still very warm tonight at 87 degrees. Do have some high clouds in the area, made for a great sunset that we had earlier this evening. Now let's focus on what's happening on the radar perspective. We've had some lingering precipitation this evening, pretty much let up. But just in the last hour, we've started to see some development of showers and storms across parts of the Metroplex area. It's just the beginning stages of it now, but this is the indication that we're going to start to see probably an uptick in the precipitation as we move overnight tonight and going into tomorrow. As that front is going to continue to work through, we have some upper level support combined with that disturbance coming out of Kansas, moving into Oklahoma now. That's going to help increase the precipitation, giving us some off and on showers hours and storms into tomorrow morning. For some of us, it could be a wet commute for tomorrow. Here's the latest on what Futurecast is guiding us with as we move into your Wednesday morning. This is at about 3 a.m. Cloud cover is going to begin to increase a lot more, so we'll wake up tomorrow morning if you're not seeing rain to at least a mostly cloudy, if not an overcast sky. There's 6 a.m. We have some scattered storms in the area, mostly central and northern areas first, and then as we get to about 8 to 9 a.m. It'll start to work its way through parts of deep east Texas. Might begin to weaken just a bit as we get toward the 9 and 10 a.m. hour, but I do expect some storms across parts of our southern counties too into the afternoon. This is the lunchtime hour. We're still looking at some storms in our southern areas, and then we'll start to see the clouds perhaps thin out just a tad. The question will be how much precipitation we see, how much the cloud cover will thin out, because if we don't see a whole lot of sun tomorrow and the clouds still linger, then this temperature of about 92 in the afternoon will probably stay into the 80s for some of us tomorrow. But you factor in that we still have a lot of moisture in the air, and once that rain lets up, it will be quite humid tomorrow afternoon. When do we get the brief reprieve from the heat? Well, it's coming in Thursday and Friday. Dew points will come down just a tad. Still hot in the afternoon, though. Highs upper 90s, overnight lows coming down just a tad. That'll be nice into the mid and the lower 70s. And by Saturday, that's when the humidity kicks back up and we are ahead for another hot weekend. Deep East Texas storms for you also in line for tomorrow, but probably after sunrise through the early afternoon and we'll keep temperatures rather mild into the mid and the upper 90s. But hey, at least we're not talking about triple digits here, at least for a period of time. Yeah, not too shabby. All right. Thank you, Marcus.